Hi, my name is Land Grant of Tech Empowerment. I'm all about bodega tech for moms and pops and other ways to uh, use technology to level the playing field for very small businesses in New York City. I had the pleasure of attending uh, another great trade show yesterday on the 23rd at the Jake, that's the 23rd of April, at the Jacob Javits. This one was Inside 3D Printing. And uh, it was all about the hot, uh, revolutionary new business of additive manufacturing, or 3D printing as it's more commonly called. And it was, uh, it was a hot and frenzied show, uh, rather small by the Javits standards, but full of very, very interesting uh, uh, conference uh, presentations, as well as an exhibit floor. So it was both a conference and an expo. Uh, I think uh, there were three or 4,000 people in attendance, it was a two-day show. Uh, I caught uh, all of the second day, uh, and I have a couple of clips to show you. Uh, the uh, first is uh, 3D Systems, one of the oldest companies in the business, uh, in, uh, actually located in South Carolina, a uh, very hot stock last year in uh, 2012, uh, and uh, a very progressive uh, company who has purchased a number of smaller firms with interesting technology and incorporated them into their business model. In any, any case, uh, let's take a look at what we have uh, uh, from their show booth at uh, Inside uh, 3D Printing at the Jacob Javits on the 23rd of April. Thank you. And in this particular case, what we're doing is this is called Cubify Sculpt. We're giving them different ways to create content. So Joshua here is going to walk you through a demo of Cubify Sculpt. Sure. So. Uh, this is more of an artistic application, but what I've done here is uh, I've actually scanned a, a neckline with the uh, Connect scanner. And Freeform is based on, I mean, Cubify Sculpt is based on voxel technology, so it's 3D pixels. We're no longer talking about a boundary representation. So with this, I can simply paint onto the surface, activate the correct one. Hide master. So I can simply paint onto the surface and through voxel technology I can just emboss. So it takes away a lot of the limitations of CAD where you have to really make sure that all of the, a lot of technical jargon really, to make sure the edges are stitched and things are the way they need to be. For 3D printing, additive manufacturing, he actually uses voxels in the printing process because everything's a little droplet. So if you think of a 3D pixel, that's what we have going on here. So I can set the height to, let's say, 8 millimeter and just hit preview, and it bakes it into the surface like so. So whereas before, in the traditional CAD, I'd have to do a lot of sweeps and uh, modeling to get that, in this case, I can just emboss it, emboss it out. And I can, with this haptic device, this allows me to actually feel the surface, so I can touch that. This device is have it stopping me. Is this your device? Yeah. Now the other thing about that is if you think about design, it certainly is a great design tool, but it can also be used for simulations. So if you're a manufacturer and you want to test a new assembly line, a new, and you want to know just how hard you have to move this, how much you have to tweak that, you can actually have this give you feedback and create simulations for manufacturing and for healthcare. Think about surgical theaters. If you could do this before you enter that theater, it could be a massive improvement in the delivery of that kind of patient care. And dimensioning as well. Like here, I can set the use ruler. So if I set it to five millimeter and I tug, this thing stops me at five millimeter. So now I know I'm exactly at five millimeter. So being able to actually feel, if I move something and I want to move it on the x-axis or to the left by a certain increment, it'll stop me. So I no longer have to, you know, manually type it in or do it from three different views. I can actually feel it in 3D space as my hand is guided and stopped by this haptic force. That's why we call it the phantom, because uh, it has a phantom force. Um. Well, this was developed really as a professional system, and so the, the price points are indicative of that. What we're finding now that we've brought them into the fold is that there's some opportunity. They have higher-end units, they have this in the, sort of the mid-range, and we're looking at where we want to take this next. 
So if you want to see a current kind of industrial application of it, this is a great example here. So we do a lot with patient-specific implants where we take CAT scan data and then bring it into 3D and then create these clients to uh, patient-specific implants. So in this case, we did the cranial plate, the orbit rebuild, and the mandible rebuild. And this is stuff that's changing people's lives today. And um, we have really great partners in those spaces and we're looking to expand those uh, opportunities. So when Avi talks about bespoke products and things, this is very much used in conjunction with that. We, we have, have this at the high end and the mid end right now, and you're sort of thinking about how to get this figured out. Well, let's just say that Avi's thinking about all of that because, yeah. as you can tell, he's really thinking about everything relative to managing both sides of the business. Yeah. Yeah. The, the code that we have underneath this is quite robust, and at this point, that's been industrially used. But that technology in the hands of uh, consumers could be really powerful. And this is the technology that you brought in from, uh, from Geomagic, right? This is their sensible unit, that sort of thing, right? That's so. right. Bingo. Yeah. 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 Does anybody want to touch this before you guys go? You can actually feel the force feedback. Is that something you want to do? Yes. <laughs> cool. I thought it might Step be right you. Let me hold your cup. Thank you. So what I'll do is I'll just... So, if you take it, I'll guide you in the beginning until you get the sense. So, there's the. It's like actually here, you know? The mouse has trained us to work left to right across the screen. But with a haptic device, we're actually working in a full cube. Yeah, you could go behind it and feel the back of it. You're inside it. So you can actually pull out. Just, you can just yank. You won't break it. Beyond that, you can go inside it. Yep. And you can feel like the inner. Here, let me guide you first. So you just hold on. No, just hold on. And I'll guide you right there. Yes. Yeah, I want to try. Yeah.